Hello. You taking a bath? Mm. So welcome back to the fine print you guys I know it's been a while but we are back with another video so on today's video I get a lot a lot of questions about how I grew my son's hair back after he suffered from really bad cradle cap and I thought I would share with you guys just how I did it how I was able to grow back his hair with absolutely no ball spots so stay tuned if you want all the information and all the products I use to make this happen now before we jump into it, I am going to share a couple pictures just so you can vividly see where Mullo is coming from. And Mullo is my son for those of you who do not know. Now this picture does not even justify or show how bad it really was. He was basically completely bald at this point and just had a couple little flyaways left. And I was scared. I'm not going to lie. Your girl was real scared. Now, with this routine, this is exactly the same routine I've been doing from the time we treated his cradle cap. I will share what I use to treat his cradle cap, but we're going to start off with his wash day routine. Okay, so I purchased this little number on Amazon. It's a bath cap protector. It's to prevent water from going in his ears during this wash. I do use it the opposite direction. Um, I read a couple reviews and a lot of the girls who had um, children with natural hair said they felt like it worked best this way. So I do like using it this way, but you can feel free to use it the other way that's actually recommended. Um, I will pop in the picture so you guys can see exactly where to purchase it. So I always start off with saturating his hair. I do have other videos on simple wash day routine, so I'm not going to go really in depth with this video only because I do the same routine with him that I do on his father and that I do on myself. So right here you'll see me just saturating the hair with water to prep it for the shampoo. Can we just take a moment to acknowledge how beautiful his curls look and how full his hair looks? So now I'm going to start off with um, using the Myel um, exfoliating shampoo. And I'm probably going to give him about two shampoos. Now, Myel does carry a kid's collection, but I chose not to use it. Um, my son has the same hair texture as me, so I wanted to use something I know that will work for him. So you do want to avoid this shampoo going in his eyes or your child's eyes, just so that they don't have any type of burning sensation. But like I said, this protectant cap worked really well. Judge me if you may, but this works. Kids products normally are not as effective as products that we would normally use on our own hair. For a while, I didn't know why my son had gotten um, cradle cap and I didn't know why his hair had fallen out. But taking the time to really diagnose what was going on just to see a better outcome really helped me. Um, he used to have hair falling out on his sheets. And I really was like, is it dryness? Like, what's causing this? So once it's thoroughly rinsed through with water, I'm going to now work on the deep conditioning. Um, this deep condition is also by Myel. You can choose to leave it in longer, but I don't because he is a baby. I just work on massaging it in and just combing through all the curls with my hand. Once again, these are not children products. This is not for babies or kids. Um, so you have to be careful when you're using it just to make sure that it does not go into their eyes because that burning sensation definitely will hit. I'm very, very careful when it comes to applying it and taking my time to distribute it throughout his whole entire head. But do you see this? I'm like so obsessed with his curls. Once it's hydrated and taken care of, but look at this. So I'm just going to speed up the clip a little bit. Um, as you can see, I'm still going through making sure that I get the deep condition all over. And it's very important to make sure that you're carefully massaging the deep condition throughout the whole entire head. 
So take your time, comb through every curl, and just massage it so that it can really penetrate the hair. So now we're going to give it just a final rinse and carefully get rid of all that deep conditioning in the hair so that it's fresh and clean and ready for hydration. Look at my little papa. He's just so cute. I love him. Can we take a moment to recognize this cuteness overload? All right, so you can see it's super clean, super fresh, looks very hydrated and so healthy and not a bald spot in sight. Look how beautiful. So I'm just going through and showing you how healthy his hair is and how this has changed his whole hair growth. And look at this. So I was afraid when he first got the cradle cap. I did buy this cradle cap remover. I will link it below. I am missing a piece that comes with this remover. But essentially, I would comb out the cradle cap and then I would basically use another brush to like scrub it out and then gently brush it out with a softer brush in rotation, just like I just did in this moment. Now, this cradle cap remover works miracles. Once the cradle cap was gone, it was gone for good. Now, y'all yeah, know I love Myel. Once again, I'm back with the Myel products. Um, here is the leave-in conditioner. I'm going to moisturize his hair and just basically massage the product in and show his curls and hair some love. Now, I know a lot of you must be saying, how did I get him to sit still and why isn't he fussing? But I've been doing this with my son since before he even had hair. <laughs> from the time he became bald from the cradle cap, I massaged his hair when it was bald and I still massage it now that he has a head full of hair. So my son is used to this routine. You might want to make sure you get your child into a routine of having their hair done so that it's not complicated in the long run. Some tips and tricks of things you might want to try is to give them a favorite toy, put on their favorite show. If they like to read books, um, hand them a book. My son seems to really love books. He loves looking at pictures. So it's so easy to like keep him busy whenever I start to moisturize and style his hair. Now after I hydrate with a leave-in conditioner, I always hit it with a oil to seal that moisture. I do Jamaican black castro, I also do almond oil, black seed oil, anything that's just going to hold it and keep that moisture in for a long period of time. Another way to do that is protective styling. I do protective style on my son's hair just so that his hair can keep that growing effect.
so I'm not gonna speed this part up I really want you to see um, how I was able to braid his hair he doesn't necessarily always move his head in the right direction but I've learned different ways to braid so that I can still complete the hairstyle Now this is something I repeat in all my videos, do not, do not, and I stress this, do not braid the ends of your hair. You always want to seal them into a twist so that you do not cause breakage when you're trying to relieve the hairstyle. You want to make sure you lock the moisture in, not trap it in with a braid that's going to cause your hair to tangle up when you're ready to release it. Now once I'm done with that, I start to just oil every section and still massage it in just so that I can make sure every piece of hair has gotten some type of moisture. Now anybody who knows me, I swear by wild growth. I use it on Dion's hair, I use it on my hair, and I also use it on Molo's hair because I've seen results from it from consistently using it and I highly recommend it especially if you're having issues growing out your edges and getting that fullness you're looking for. Look at that shrinkage. He has so much shrinkage because his hair is actually way longer than it actually looks in this video. So much shrinkage to the point where he looks like he has a small afro. But he has enough length to do cornrows and box braids. So I'm just going to speed it up right here. I'm essentially doing the same thing that I did for the first braid. I'm going back in with my oils. And then I'm just going to secure the braid and seal the ends with a twist. I'm also detangling as I go um, because I do not detangle his hair before washing it. He reacts better once the hair is 100% washed and clean and doesn't give me trouble when I'm detangling it. I think another important thing that people forget is that you really have to train the hair. So I know some people are more comfortable with detangling before wash, but his hair is trained to be detangled after it's been washed. As you can see, now I'm halfway through um, the hairstyle. I am doing box braids. I finished one half of his head, and you can see it's pretty neat, clean. I'm going back in with my oils. You want to make sure that you're catching every part of the scalp. And like I said, carefully massaging it in because this is what's going to stimulate the growth. And you want to consistently do this. At least two to three times a week, I go through, refresh his hair, and add oil. And I can't forget to mention, this is a one-year update from the time he was 100% bald until now. This is exactly one year later from when we started his hair care journey. Okay, so now I'm done. I'm repeating the same steps. I can't stress it enough. Make sure you get that oil everywhere. Um, and I'm just making sure that I massage it in carefully and that it's 100% sealed so that the moisture can last a few days. As you can see, he was getting a little bit irritated. He has the clip in his mouth, but he still remained patient enough to finish the style. I do choose to do his hair closer to bedtime after he's freshly bathed and super calm because it just makes it so much easier for me to get through it because right after he's done, he's going to have his bottle and go straight to sleep. Now here comes the do-rag. So I got a lot of questions on does he keep it on? How do you get to keep it on overnight? How is he not pulling it off or tugging or fighting? And it is because he is used to wearing a do-rag, you guys. 
and if when he wasn't wearing a dual rag another method i used to do was i bought a satin pillowcase and i actually sewed it into his bed sheets so that i wouldn't see his hair um come out because his hair was getting super dry and it was falling out at one point and actually i would find some little pieces of hair inside of his crib on his bed sheets whenever i would be changing it so i got an idea from another youtuber i cannot remember who she actually bought a satin pillowcase and i will link one below from amazon and she sewed it onto the bed sheets Now you do want to make sure that it's not too tight. As you can see here, he's not tugging on it. He's not trying to pull it off. He is accustomed to having it on. Everything is based on routines. The earlier you start, the easier it is for them to adapt. Papa. Hi, Tookie. <laughs> now this is a few days later after I've hydrated and re-moisturized and sealed it with oil. I have the clips in just to keep them in order until it's 100% dry. He does not touch the clips. He doesn't grab on it. He's so used to having his hair done that this is just a normal day for him. He's having breakfast and I just did it right when he woke up in the morning because the best times for me, like I said, it's either right before bedtime or early in the morning when he first wakes up. It is the most calmest time for me to react and make sure that he's still getting what he needs. Now I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was just a simple wash day routine. If you would like to see more things that I've done to help my son's hair grow, please leave a like below or comment below to let us know that you're interested. And thanks again and we'll catch you on the next one.